Jay, you started playing football at uh, Akron Booktal, and then you went on to the Miami Hurricanes, were co-captain a couple of years, led the team in tackles, defensive MVP, won a national championship. Talk to me about winning that national championship, the first one at the University of Miami. It was the first, and it was special, too, because when Howard Snellenberger recruited us, he said, within five years, we'll challenge for the national championship. When I was a dumb freshman, I wasn't too sure about that, but I really did believe in the guy. Within the fifth year, uh, being the second year as captain, we won a national title. So, I mean, anything Howard tells me to this day, uh, I believe, no matter what it is. And then you get drafted, second round by the Miami Dolphins, and actually play in another national championship game the very next year. It was unbelievable. You know, I, we came in there, and this guy named Dan Marino with the Dolphins was doing a super job. It was only in his second year. And the Marx Brothers and all these guys, well, they had the killer bees. And to be drafted by a team that I loved and was in the, in the same city with, I said, wow, and I happen to be a bee. So I thought that was awesome. And then to start with the killer bees in the Super Bowl, as a rookie, you know, I look back and I was going, those two years, how could it be any better? After that, you went on to coach and you kind of got another 15 minutes of fame because a lot of people know you now as the guy that coached LeBron <laughs> in high school playing football. Talk to us about how he was in high school as a football athlete instead of a basketball guy. Well, you know, he was a tremendous athlete. And one thing that, that people don't realize is they think he had such a pampered time at football. You know, LeBron would go and practice football and then go up and shoot for two hours in the gym. Uh, he would come back from Nike camp right before the season started. But the kid never missed a meeting. He worked like crazy in the field. And we didn't keep him on the defensive side. We just kept him on offense. But and I always compared him to a Harold Carmichael and a Randy Moss. He had the fluidity and just the grace of a Randy Moss athlete. But the size of the first 6'8", six, 6'9", six, receiver, which was Harold Carmichael, who played with the Philadelphia Eagles years ago, a big physical guy. So... I think he could have been a tremendous football player, and I mean, he chose basketball, but the kid was a great teammate to have. I mean, he never, he wasn't late for meetings. He didn't get any special attention that way. Uh, he did a great job for us. It was a great time coaching LeBron. It was something that's a once in a lifetime thing. So now you're back here in Akron, where it all started for you at Akron Booktal. Let's rewind to those days real quick. You guys played in three out of four championships when you were playing. Talk to me about the experience of those games and playing in front of that giant crowd on Thanksgiving. Well, you know, this is the thing. You know, back then you'd had one team from the region be taken. Well, most of the time you didn't qualify. So you might even not even know the team in the region. We didn't have Sports Time Ohio. We didn't have ESPN. We didn't know this. So you didn't know many of the teams outside of your own region. And the thing about it was in Akron, the biggest thing was the City Series to, to, to win that. The local paper, the local radio, Everything was focused on Thanksgiving morning at 10.30 in the morning when we played for the city title. And you had 15 to 20,000 fans turn out. And you talk about how special it was. You talk about how you look back on it so fondly. And this is something that's kind of went away, so now you're trying to bring it back. Yeah. Well, they put it together last year, talked to all the coaches, and everybody in, in Akron, I believe, in Summit County, has been looking for a way to bring back the to Turkey Day game. We, we named the game the Thanks for Giving. And it's all about bringing the kids back out, these all-stars, from all the high schools in uh, Summit County, city and uh, suburban and parochial. And they're coming out and they're getting one more opportunity to play. It's just something that the day lends to itself. Thanksgiving, and you know, we have it thanks for giving. And it's just been, a, it's kind of an honor to do it. And uh, with everybody jumping on board, it's been great.